excuse the roughness, excuse the edges, excuse the lighting, just, just excuse this whole first portion of this video because this ain't where it's at. Because I put it on p.m. I put it on 6 p.m. instead of 6 a.m. I'm not going to record the whole thing because this is my first time going to professional, like I said in the other video. And I really want to enjoy it, at least for this first time. And then, because I don't know her like that, so like, I feel like it would be weird for me to go up there and be like, hey, can I record a YouTube channel? So, I'm so weird. I'm just gonna go there like a regular person and record certain stuff. I've never heard of my ears or watching it like that. But yes, um, that is all, and I will see you at the hair shop. But yes, I am going to be inserting clips of me getting my hair done. But as of right now, I have to run a few errands with my mom. So I won't be able to give you a full detailed, um, what's it called, about what everything I did. So I will get back to you later on that. But get into this, y'all. I haven't been able to run my fingers through my hair in three years. Okay, well, anyways, y'all, let me go. running my errands with my mom i am now going to explain slash give my review give my opinions my feelings on my hair as you can see from the previous video that i recorded before this it was a little bit like sleeker i guess it has popped out some because i have been getting in not the car and it's summertime it's july it's it's hand but um yeah, I'm still in love with the S right now because like, for the past three years, I have not been able to, like, literally, like, if something happens, I'm going to be like, oh, hold up, like, you know, I'm put in part two or something like that. I haven't been able to do that in three years. So, no rambling, rambling, let me go ahead and get into how she did right here. I did not record everything because, like I said, it was my first time going to a professional to like get my hair actually pressed out or done in that nature and I really didn't want to sit there and record the whole time even though I asked her when I was there can I record small steps and stuff I just feel like it was my first time so I wanted to actually go there and enjoy it and relax and actually get my hair done I wasn't I'm not I wasn't doing this so oh this gonna make my writings go up or nothing like that. It was literally because I really wanted to get my hair done and I love it. Um, My hair is healthy. It's like my ends, y'all, my ends was horrible. But she clipped them, she trimmed them. It looks so much better. Okay, so enough about that. I didn't record because I just wanted to enjoy it. So when I first sat down, she, um, she grabbed a wide tube comb this one she got a wide tube comb and literally just detangled my hair while it was in fresh out of the braids in my like at the little ponytail that you saw from the beginning of the video after she did that she was like okay go to the wash chair y'all this is my favorite part like, 
This is my favorite part. So we uh we she, we we she started washing my hair. I it felt like she was um shampooing my hair like twice, three times. Like she shampooed it, washed it out, shampooed it again, and then I felt like she put like a conditioner or something in it, and then she rinsed that out. But then she put something else up in there. So after she did all that, she gave me a scalp massage and everything. It was. Uh, uh, like it was so blissful and then after that she sat me underneath a steamer and I will insert the clip of me underneath the steamer right here and the steamer was hot the uh it was dripping on me but it really wasn't that hot once it like started dripping on me but like my hair was literally hot like from the steam I touched it and I was like oh like my hair was like but my hair like literally like the curls were so defined afterwards like I just saw it so after I sat underneath the steamer she went to go wash whatever she had put in my hair for me to go on this thing she went to go wash it out and like literally she was like putting her fingers through my hair and my my hair has never been able to do that like with me just washing on my own definition like she literally just went like this through my curls and it was no tangles or anything so after that she proceeded to blow dry I don't know if I got a video of me bl her blow drying it or afterwards yeah I just have a picture of me a picture slash video of me uh, of how it looked after I blow dry and my hair was big I was like it's no way possible she's gonna be able to get my hair like flatter than this like I thought it was gonna be like this but like puffier like bigger but she did her darn thing and she told me that it's all with flat iron and still press and everything it's all in the blow drying process because blow drying is what gets the hair really really straight and the flat iron just comes over there and smooths your hair all into place so after she blow dried it uh, she sectioned it and then she started flat ironing it i didn't get her flat iron all of it but here's a clip of her flat iron like the piece that's right here she flat ironed it and then I was like, oh my gosh. Like she had turned me around for a second. I was like, whoa. Like it was just so sleek. Like it, it was just amazing. And then after that, uh, I was like, and then she said, I'm gonna trim it. I was like, hold on, wait, wait. I was like, can you please take a picture before you um before you uh clip it? Because I wanna see like the length of it. And she took a picture. I said, <sighs> Y'all like my hair even don't even feel as long as it was in the picture like the picture it looks so long and then she was like yeah is it linked and then she like put her finger as where it stopped it's like at the top of my bra strap like literally at the top hold on wait that's the get it yeah it's at the top of my bra strap and then i was like i was um, i was um, like amazed to it and she was like i was doing a good job with it it was good that uh, i came in for a trim because it was it was more than enough time for it but she could tell like my split ends wasn't all the way up you know to the point where i had to get like a bob or something but she said i had did good t I she said I took good care of my hair and a lot of people don't so that's a good plus. Um, all in all, when I do this again, yes. How often would I do it? Probably she recommends, I'm sorry y'all, I'm, st I'm starting to get sick. She recommends like every 12 weeks I think so that's like four months yeah every four months but I really don't know if I'm gonna go back that often um I really just might go for like a little like a little cut cut like a little trim but I think I might go every six months or every five months but I'm not gonna plan it I'm just gonna be like oh it's been a minute since I got my hair fine like I think I'm just gonna I wouldn't go that much often because I am afraid of heat damage I love my curls more than I love this straight hair right here and if someone wants to give me a choice between choosing this straight hair or having my curls I would choose my curls and that's that on that um but writing this experience I would give it a 10 out of a 10 from her just being so informative about it you know how sometimes uh, 
her being so informative about it, she was so like lively. She was nice. And to my head questions, she answered it. She didn't. I didn't feel like I was annoying her because if anybody knows me personally, I ask too many doggone questions. Like. I asked too many questions and she answered all my questions y'all and it was just amazing. Once again I'm gonna put her Instagram right here. And y'all just go look at her, go follow her. This is not even this is not a promo or anything like that. This is really just my first time getting my hair flat iron and this is how it turned out in my experience and I hope y'all enjoy it. If y'all want more videos like this or do y'all want videos on how I maintain it but if y'all want more videos like this pertaining to my natural hair, like being in a different state, like such as blow dry, blow dried or flat iron, or how to deal with the curly, comment below. But once again, thank you for clicking on this face because you could have clicked on any other face on YouTube, but you decided to click on mine. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you're notified when I update. Y'all, thank you so much for watching um, this experience. As you can see, I cannot stop smiling because I'm in love with my hair. I can't see myself because I don't have my glasses on. But I see that a lot of my hair and I love it. And I will definitely do this again. So, thank you once again for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.